Come join me for another Dark Souls stream. Yeah, so it's been a while since I've done a, a, a bookkeeping at the beginning of one of my variety streams, but here we are. We did them with Tunic. We did them with, well, a little with Pokemon Randomized Nuzlocke, and now you finally get one with with Dark Souls. I guess that makes it a real variety stream now. Anyways, last time, chat was telling me that going into the depths, I really should have plus five weapons because you can buy Titanite shards, you can farm up the souls. And I was like, that sounds like a good idea. You know, between this week and next week, I will farm up a bunch of stuff, get all my stuff to plus five. Well, <laughs> Well, what are you gonna do? There was a little thing called Christmas that got in the way, so... I was kinda busy doing real-life stuff and didn't get to do that too much. But I did it a little. And I think it'll be fine for now, and if we end up getting our asses handed to do us back in the depths, I can always do it later. So what have I done? What have you missed? Thankfully, I didn't die, so that makes editing easier, because otherwise I was gonna be like, oh, I'll have to edit in all the death stuff, but luckily I've just been looping this, the undead burg, undead parish, nothing crazy, so it hasn't been hard. I got Wing Spear to three. That's our newest weapon, so I figure, all right, that's that's cool. Got the Scimitar to two, because sure, you know, it's our starting weapon. Uh, you'll also notice, I remember I bought this last time, but I didn't really do anything. Like, I bought the glove, and I'm like, okay. Or I said, like, yeah, give me the magic, and he's like, here, have this. This is up to plus four. It's because I have one thing I want to do before we go back to where we were in the sewer maze. Uh, but the biggest difference. Take a look over the bottom left. You'll notice I have things in the top now, and those things are spells. We actually can cast pyromancy now. We had the glove last time, but we didn't actually, you know, couldn't do anything with it. Uh, so if you've never played Dark Souls, the way spells work is, you know, it's actually kind of similar to D&D &D with uh, having stuff per day. You buy the thing, like, you buy Fireball, you... Uh, don't know why I started going, because it'll be easier to show here. And then you, you equip your, you know, Pyromancy, and you know, for other things you have to use uh, different stuff for, like, miracles, different stuff for other types of magic. But for Pyromancy, you equip this glove, or Fiery Hand, and then you can use it and be like, all right, we have eight casts of Fireball. Now we have seven. There's no MP potions or anything. It's it's we're down to seven. Now we bought Fire Orb, which is the a lot. That's like 8,000 souls. And I was like, yeah, I'll get it now. Because, like, you know, once you buy it, you have it permanently. Like a bigger Fireball, essentially. And then you're like, OK, well, I'm down to, you know, less casts. There you go. Now your magic's refilled. The way magic, you equip it, you go in here, you know, because I have a 12 attunement, I have two spell slots. Each of these only take one slot. So, you know, we put fireball in one, we put fire orb in the other. We get eight uses of one, six of the other, uh, you know. There. If you've never played Dark Souls, now you've seen how spells work. Good on ya. So, before we go to the depths, well, there's two things, really, I want to do. Oh yeah, you'll notice our weapons are a lot stronger now that they're plus three and plus two. Like, I can just one-shot someone with a not even heavy, not double-handed, just a regular one-handed little poke dead. Granted, you know, these are the beginning guys, but still. That's pretty nice. Still fun to do that. It's still fun to jump off the cliff and commit suicide. No. Anyways, the things we want to do before we go to the depths are... Well, there are two. Two options. Option one. And by option, I mean, like, things I want to do to the side. Is supposedly... I have been informed that we could get a longbow now instead of our shortbow. That seems 
pretty good to me. That seems like a good idea. And in fact, we know exactly where it is. We've seen it. We just never went there because I was afraid we wouldn't be able to get back up. And I, I think maybe we can get back up. If not, we're going to be in for a hell of a surprise and we'll be like, uh oh. What? Yeah, it's in Darkroot Basin. Along the path. Or maybe Darkroot Garden. I don't know when it officially switches between the two, but we were walking down that cliff path and then we're like, oh, look, there's an item down here, but oh, wait, we don't want to fall because it doesn't look like there's a way back up. That item has the longbow. And there might be a path to get back up. That part I'm a little unsure about, but... Wait. I wanted to go this way. I mean, I figure I'll, you know, kill some more dudes while we're at it. Why not? While I'm, you know, discussing what we're going to be doing, I might as well get some souls so that I can try and get enough to get my pyromancy glove to plus five and be done with it for now. So yeah, dark root garden slash basin. Getting a longbow. That's option one for side stuff. The second thing is, I don't know what it is, but I found an item in Firelink Shrine that we never got. Uh, I found it when I was doing my loop because, as you know, going this way, killing dudes, going all the way through Undead Parish, coming back down the elevator, and then, you know, resetting in Firelink. Along the way, when I took the elevator down, I noticed that A, there is an item on top of Firelink Shrine. And I'm like, that seems impressive and important because it's, you know, out of the way. B, while I discovered this, I also discovered a path we've never been on, which presumably will take us to that item. And I was like, hmm, I should get that. And then I failed a jump and fell down, I'm like, I could go back up the elevator and try again, or I could just wait to stream and do it, because A, I'm lazy, and B, you know, we'll see, hey, hey, stop. Doing it on stream makes sense, you know. Because if it's something really cool, you'll get to me see me go like, oh, and if it's something stupid, you'll get to see me go, well, that was a waste of time. All I know is there's stuff to do before we do our getting lost in a maze and being killed by a giant rat the size of a house, so... Maybe not a house, maybe like a... truck. Don't shoot me. Busy. Trying to show stuff. Uh, cause it's not- the, these spells are not very long range. Like, you know, I do it from here, it didn't even- oh, okay, well it hit because he ran into it. So, I guess good on him for doing that, but... I was kind of trying to show how they're not, you know, super, you know, it's, it's short range stuff. It's not like sniping with the bow. Oh. Ow. And, you know, as you can see, it takes even like the little fireball, just the basic pyromancy spell. You know, it takes time to cast, so you can't just, you know, it's, it's not like a, a super short range, just like, wah, hit him. But at the same time, like, you can't snipe with it, so it is very, um, you know, it's nice because it does a lot of damage, but, you know, you gotta, you gotta balance out when you use it. But it's fun, especially, you know, if you get one of those, which we'll, we don't want to get into Undead Parish. Hey, 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 no. No shooting me on a ladder, but we've been over this. How many times do I have to tell you? Well, how many times are you going to reset at a bonfire? Yeah, so see, I'm like, I'm showing things off while I'm farming. It's the best of both worlds. I get to get stronger, and you don't have to watch me just fight the same guys forever and ever and ever. And you're like, uh... Ow. Okay. Sure. That works. Hey, this guy should be able to get. Because he's annoying. Alright, and... Oh. 
tip. It's just, you can see, like, they can block it with a shield. Does uh, not as much damage, just like a regular attack blocked with a shield. Eh. Uh, you might be wondering, like, so why is your pyromancy on that hand? Why isn't it in your weapon hand? The reason I did it this way, I don't know if it's smart to, like, offhand it. Maybe it does more if you main hand it. But, uh, most importantly, you can't block while you are casting the fire spells. I don't know if that's true for all the magic or not, but at least for pyromancy, you cannot use a shield while you're doing it. You, you know, you just straight up do this animation. So you can't like, it's not like a, you know, a spear where you can hold your shield up and attack at the same time. Elevator. Elevator. Hopefully we won't die using the elevator. Alright, so where is this secret path to Fireling Shrine? We go down, and we go down, and we go down. Right about... There. Like, yeah, and you can, you know, get it coming back up. But so... You notice. So, A. I was like, huh, how do you get that? And so I was kind of poking around here, and I saw, oh, wait, there's a staircase over there. And so then I, I tried to do this, and I just fell down. So I was like, well, all right, I'll do it later. Mainly because I was trying to run and jump, and it didn't work. All right, do I have to jump this? Can I roll this? Looks like I can roll. Yeah. Okay, Undead Asylum Key. Oh, yeah, there was the door at the beginning that was not, uh, accessible. Okay, well, I'm not gonna do that now, but that's cool, I guess. I mean, it's a key item, so that's neat, but... It's for a place we don't want to go, so that's a little less neat. Also, hey you, I've got souls. A lot of them. Oh, hello there. Hello. I'm pleased to see you safe. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Oh, he can do plus six. I thought he could only do five. Shows what I know. Wow. We don't have the souls for it anyway. Goodbye then. Goodbye then. I don't know, part of me is like, well, should I buy the other spells? And then I'm like, I don't know that I want to use them, but... Because, yeah, there's Flash Sweat. Button I used to look at. Yeah, so this is basically Flame Resistance. Defense. And then, uh... I, I'm not sure, like, it sounds kind of like a Flamethrower, maybe. I was like, yeah, I mean, I guess I could buy that and play with it if I want. And... Goodbye, then. Be safe, friend. We'll we'll see what uh this. Like this takes Oh, this one okay, so the the good to know. The soul price doesn't increase. That's like what am I trying to say? I'm stumbling on my words. Good to know. So Upgrading the pyromancy, it was like 500 souls, then 1,000, then 2,000, then 3,000. But it didn't take any Titanite shards, which is why I was doing that mainly. This one, the shard price goes up in Titanite, but the souls seem to stay at 200. Like, yeah. So, okay. Also awesome. We have a plus five spear now. That's cool. Uh, what else? I mean, we can buy Titanite shards along the way. Three, four, five. Oh, I touched the thing. What the? Where'd your people go? They were just here. Uh, oh, you again? Me? Uh. I've become separated from my lady. I've scoured near and far, but no sight of her. Where could she have gone? My lady, to think I swore to protect you with my life. I mean, I, I, 
kind of know your deal. Someone told me about it. He's not a great guy. Let's go with that. But I, I'm surprised in that, like, she was here just a second ago. I do one loop and she's like, oh, hey, you're back now. Ah, you certainly are keeping busy. So he should be able to tell you stuff. Pay for a useful tip? Yeah. A wise choice indeed. Maiden Thuraland and her followers recently arrived in this land, but she became stranded deep below the catacombs. Her followers either fled or were reduced to hollows, leaving Maiden Thuraland all alone. Not a bad tip, huh? A new bar cleric would be replete with humanity. Um. Okay, I mean, that went from, like, where did she go? Well, she's in the catacombs. That's what that was. I mean, it was kind of a waste of souls, but whatever. It's story. Oh. Cool. Yeah, so she was just here, and now she went down with the other followers, except that guy who stayed up, and now they're stuck in the catacombs, which we know where they are. We did that last time. We're not going that way yet. That way would kill us very quickly. All right, so that's one point of business. We got the item up there. But point of business number two. Can we get a longbow? I would be ever so happy if we could. Oh, yeah. There is one other thing. He being like, here's one thing, and now I'm on, like, thing number five. There should be a bonfire that we can get to. Because I said that I had no qualms, uh, looking up the hidden walls. And if I'm remembering, like, yeah, I'm not looking up lots of stuff about the game, but... Uh, I could smith some mighty weapons with one of those. Oh yeah, we never gave you the large ember. Lend it to me. Uh, yes. Magnificent. You won't be disappointed. I can hardly wait to get started. Yeah, I'm broke, so that's not gonna happen, but... Uh, giving him that. Don't get yourself killed. Neither of us want to see Yeah, look how nice Andre is. Cares for us. Yeah, would you lend me that ember? Be like, well, I can either just hold it in my inventory forever with no use, or I can give it to you. Uh, that's what it lets you get weapons past plus five. Because, like, at the bonfire, we could level things up to, you know, plus five, and then you notice they weren't in the list anymore. And that's because, you know, to make them plus six, you need a large ember. Which we got, and now we gave it to him so we can go to him specifically to get stuff to plus six. And then I think we can do plus seven, plus eight, plus nine, plus ten, but then to get it above that, you need another thing. And... So yeah, it's, I forgot we had the large ember and I forgot that we hadn't turned it into him, so hooray for us. Come on, you. I know you're there. Surprise. They're weak to fire. Who would have guessed? Me, I guess. That's why I tried doing it. And then I'm like, yeah, that does almost 200 damage. So anyways. I was talking about I looked up invisible wall stuff. Because I don't care about spoiling myself on those. And there's one of them. And it gives you a freaking bonfire. They hid a bonfire behind an invisible wall, the assholes. I did sit at the bonfire. <laughs> oh well, I'm stupid. All right. So now if we die doing this, we don't have to go back super far. 
Long bow. Long bow. Ah, the, oh, you're dead. You're just, your corpse was coming up to say hi. Well, I mean, a lot of corpses attack me. Why shouldn't theirs, right? There it is. You can see it. It's right down there. Oh, I wonder if I can stab this guy this time. Before he runs away again. Ah, oh, I missed those too far away. Maybe I should have shot him with a bow. Oh, well. Someday we'll hit him. We'll be like, what do we get? Be like, 20 souls, big huh? All right. Leather, 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 longbow. Ooh, and feather arrows. Those sound cool. I don't know if they are or not, but they sound cool. Uh, how do I drop and not die, I guess? Okay, so now we should be able to go back up. Right there. But I'm curious. Ooh. More stuff. Ugh. I ha oh, hi. Oh, hi. Well, you have a lot of health, sir. Were you aware? Um. Oh. Nope. 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 Nope, nope. I did... Oh, because I just... I was like, I did three damage from a falling attack because I just, like, landed on it. Eh. Eh. Titanite. Well, that sounds fancy. Fancy, fancy. Just wanted to see what this was. That's a whole nother way to. Hmm. Yep. Brass Crest Shield. I think this is the one that. I, there was a loading screen about it. Yeah. So, it's heavier, but if I recall... Well, A, it looks... I mean, that's a nice-looking shield. B, yep, I, yeah, I remember my loading... I remember the things that the game told me about. Take a look at that top left. See those green arrows pointing up? Also, notice my green glowing body. I have... I don't know if it's... It, it's faster stamina something. I don't know what. Like, I don't know if it's that it's faster... Recovery time, or if it's like... Faster when it starts recovering. But there's something about the stamina that goes faster with this. It'd be handy if I got that tooltip again. Which, like, had the actual description of the thing. But this works. And frankly, I think this is basically the best shield we can get for dexterity build. Because, like, we're not trying to tank every hit. We're just trying to, you know, dodge... And it's so like a shield that's like, yeah, if you need it, you just go, whoop, that block an arrow. But otherwise, it's like, yeah, here's your stamina back so you can keep dodging. Like, it's not the strongest shield, but in terms of what we want to do, it's kind of the best. Because it gives us what we actually want, which is more stamina for dodging. Uh, mm. well, you need any Yes, actually. I want to reinforce this longbow. Cool. Uh, and... Um, why are you wasting your souls? You keep buying tight. Eh, we'll use them. And we're here. We can level up anywhere. 
Now the question is, do I want this constantly green glowing thing? Like, I might put that in the box for now. And then we can, like, take this out when we need it. And then in the meantime, just use, like, the buckler. Like, the target shield does more durability. You know, the leather shield's actually fine. That one looks cool. Yeah, it only weighs one pound. Sure, let's use that for now. Why not? Ha! I don't know. Part of me is just like, just use the grass shield now. You're not gonna get anything better. The other part of me is like, but... But... Nah, that one's ugly. We all know, the key to equipping things in Dark Souls is what looks the best. We don't need stats. Target shield or grass crest. Ah, target. We'll come back. So, all that for nothing, but... Oh, actually. Also. While I'm here, I would like to buy some more arrows, please. Well, Arrows. Uh, so we can buy lar. Let's buy lar. And some of those. All right. Don't get yourself killed. I'll try my best, sir. Speaking of arrows, so feather arrows are. Less damaging than large. By a little bit. Are they any better? Like, is there any. I can't buy them, though. But I feel like I should store those for now until I learn if there's any special properties. Alright. Well, we are set to go on an adventure now. We have plus five weapons. Plus five pyromancy thing. Fireball! Fire orb. We have a grass crest shield if we need it, that we can e go back to the bonfire and equip. We have a key to the undead asylum, which has nothing to do with where we're going, but we got it. We are ready to go back to the depths. And hopefully not be cursed by a basilisk this time. Well, happy Boxing Day to you, too. Yeah, you just got in at the right time, because... I've collected a bunch of stuff, and now we're ready to continue on with where we're supposed to be going. We've got a plus five sword and a plus five winged spear, and we have fireballs and fire orbs, and a plus five pyromancy flame hand and uh, we have a really cool shield but we're not using it yet because it gives you a visual like glow which I was like eh. but now if we like want to do a boss fight we can equip it because it's a shield that boosts our stamina recovery or I'm not sure if it's your stamina recovery or how, like, when it triggers your stamina recovery, but either way, it's a shield that gives you more stamina stuff. Oh, also, we have a longbow now instead of just a short bow. That's the other thing we got. Um, mer, 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 mer. See, aren't you glad you came in just at the time you could see these guys? Aren't they lovely? 
They're just big old goopy sewer globs. Trying to fall on your head. Delicious looking. Came in at the perfect time. Alright, um... How much do I need? 4,000... 4,000, 5,000. What? 4,500. 4,581. Well, okay. I guess I'll kill this guy. Not the Goopos. What else would I expect from a sewer? Well, you can expect rats. Like that guy. He big. He's killed me. I have not killed him. Yeah, but yeah, there's all these guys. Hello, these guys. Mm. This way? I think? I mean, like, yeah, I could just fall in any of these holes, but then I get, like, thrust into the middle of Basilisk Zone. And I'm not so keen on that. Okay, oh, we're here now. Okay, I'm not sure how that didn't hit, but I'll take it. Ow. Oh, yeah. No, what happened? I was fighting this guy, and I got too close to the other side and fell down the waterfall. Granted, I do a lot more damage now with my weapon, so... Hell, yeah. We'll see if he comes back or not, but... Now I can explore this room. What do we got? We had an item. Yeah, right here. I back stepped onto this and just went woo. To a door. How do we get to that? Does that? Uh, uh, I think I. Maybe. I know there's the access point from above, but can you? Hmm. I'm lost again. Thank you for the donation, Cult Princess. That is officially. Actually, in fact, the official first donation on this channel. So thank you very much. That is very kind of you. Where am I? Oh, that's where I am. Um. Blip, 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 blip. Now, is this... Uh, okay, big rat chamber there. Wait, so is... Oh, yeah, okay. This is not where I was thinking it was, but this is what I was trying to, like... I'm like, I'm pretty sure I've been over here before. Uh, well, fuck. I'm like, I found this secret. I think I know where it is. And then I reach my way all the way there. Like, ah, hidden boxes and a staircase and a... And then, like, door, let's get... No. Nothing. Yeah, okay, or we'll just do that. Yeah, hi. Yeah, see, that's what happened to... In fact, that might be us, actually. The problem with Basilisks, for those who have not played Dark Souls, oh no. That little bar that you saw for a second, when that fills up, A, you die because you are petrified, but B, it's actually worse than that because you are then cursed. And cursed permanently decreases your health by 50% until you get an item that purifies you. And there are no good ways to get that where we are. It's a long trek back. And it costs like 3,000 souls at the minimum. So yeah, these guys, not so good. I mean, they're super funny looking though. Like, look at them. They're like frogs with giant cartoon eyeballs. Like, they're really cute. In, you know, like a creepy sort of way. But fighting them, not so great. It, 
fall over, please. Thank you. Oh, and actually, if I recall, like, those actually aren't even their eyeballs. Let me see if I can find one that's not attacked. Like, because I know them from the one Dark Souls thing I watched. Uh, Rift Connor's Death a Day Scholar of the First Sin. And he showed it off. Those are not their eyes. Uh, so, like, you're like, oh, yeah, these guys have, like, these cute little eyes and stuff. But in reality... Uh, uh. Stop ragdolling. There, you can, you can see them very, very faintly, but... Those little yellow dots, those are their actual eyes. These things up top are just like their fake boob eyes or whatever. I had forgotten that hi. Hey, there we go. Now I could have just looked at you the whole time. Yeah, so you see like their mouth and there's like the little yellow specks to the side. Those are their real eyes. Speaking of fake boob eyes, I am very curious where this is going, chat. I am very curious. I mean, they are warning off predators, but at the same time, like, they look so goofy. Like, no predator is going to see that and be like, I better stay away. Like, a predator sees that and they're like, aww, these guys are dumb. I might eat them. Neiman Marcus has an odd container for sale. Considering you prefaced that with speaking of fake boob eyes, I'm a little concerned. <laughs> they have to frighten off the sewer owls. I, I would love a sewer owl. I don't know what a sewer owl would be, but the giant crow saved us from the asylum, so like... Demons Marcus thing's a gelatinous cube shaped out of boobs. That... Definitely sounds like a choice. I don't know if it's the choice I would make. But that is a choice. Oh, is this... I was wondering if you'd be able to post. I'm like, normally hyperlinks are blocked, but you're a mod, so... Yours might go through, and it did. That... that's a... yeah... I was going to be like, I'm going to look at this picture to see if I can put it in the YouTube video, and I'm like... You know... I marked this as a mature stream, and that the YouTube video is not, like, made for kids only, but... I have a feeling that if I put that in the video, like, even though it's clearly just a jar... YouTube algorithm are going to be like, Nope, that's pornography. You don't have a channel anymore. All right, I'm okay. The maze is making sense. Fall down there. We looped around up. So up there is the big rat room. So this is all new. <gasps> the door. <laughs> it's like a weird old biblical angel made of boobs. I mean, old school biblical angels were pretty. They were a thing. People think of little cherubs and halos, and you're like, no, these are like the spinning fire wheels made out of eyes. You know, having one made out of boobs makes sense. It's like, don't be alarmed. We come in peace, and they're like, oh, what are you? Like, well, we've taken a form that you might recognize. I don't like the look of that. Oh, who the hell are you? I shall I and good day to you. I'm Donald of Zena. I'm just, well, a peddler of sorts. I adore trinkets and oddities, so I trade for them. I love your voice. Ah, applies lightning to your right-hand weapon. Crystal weapons, all right. Standard, large, wooden, still no feather arrows, all right. Helm of the Watt, wow. You have very expensive tastes, my sir. 
I like you. You have a cool voice. You have a cool outfit. And you're, like, not even hollow? I mean, you're probably undead if you're here, but, like, unlike every other person I've traded with who's like, come back for more stuff. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, okay. The rats have come to wish us a happy great horned rat day. That's true. This is like the if if you want a happy oh don't fall down there please. A happy horned rat day. The sewers are the place to do it. Um. The hell is this place all about? I mean that's gonna be a boss arena said anyone ever who's played video games. Okay, is there anything this way? Or is this also just a dead end of... Okay, dead end of nothing. All right. Hmm. So what's this? It's locked. Okay. Well, that gives us a bit of a pickle, then. By which I mean we have to fight a boss. The pickle... is do we... spend our souls first before we get massacred? Probably, right? We have enough to get a level up point. Like, we know we're gonna... Oh! Never mind, that's super easy to get to. Yeah, we can spend it. I was like, all the enemies will come back and we'll have to get there again. But we're gonna die whenever we fight whatever the hell's in there. But it's fine. That's what shortcuts are made for. Uh, I don't even want to fight any of you. Except you, because it's your day. Today's your day to celebrate. Let me enjoy the festivities by shoving a sword up your ass. And they're like, ah, I think you might have misheard the rat traditions. We celebrate with cheese and peanut butter. Maybe, maybe there's a language barrier thing happening between us because the words for cheese and peanut butter do sound very similar to sword up the ass in some languages. Now it's just a translation thing. But we assure you that's not actually what we want. Sure it is. Okay. Bring it on, giant room of death. Uh, hi. That's like, okay, a crocodile. Okay, a spiky crocodile. Okay. That's not a crocodile anymore. That's a... I'm on a really bad trip. I'd like to stop. Please let me off. Ugh. Ugh. The Gaping Dragon. Yeah, no shit. Alright, well. Let's learn some attack patterns. Hi. It is a Cthulhu Dragon. Um. You know, how much does fire do against you? If you care about hi, you're just sort of... Oh. Uh-oh. I'm gonna just stay not in front of your giant mouth thing. Oh. Okay, 173. Not bad. But a big boy. 221, not bad. But not like... Not like the tree guy weak to fire. Yeah, I'm gonna not be in front of that. Just, uh... 
77. Yeah, so, okay. Okay, don't touch him. I mean... <sighs> Yes, it's a like a boss that's like you touch the boss, you take damage type of thing, but more than that, like you look at this and you're like, maybe I shouldn't touch it. And you're like, yeah, you think. It's weird that it targets right there. It makes it somewhat difficult to actually fight the thing. Eh. Almost kind of sound. Ow, okay, you have another attack. That's cool. Ow, I died. It, it, I have questions. I don't think there's any answers to my questions. Because mainly the question is, one, what the hell? Two, why the hell? And three, have you ever seen an orthodontist, buddy? Because I'm just saying the things they do with braces nowadays, you'd be kind of surprised. Maybe I'm the orthodontist. The orthodontist was inside you all along. You thought this was a game about, like, reclaiming humanity and extending the fire and... Nah, nah, nah. This game is about becoming the best dentist you can be. This is the final boss of dentist souls. Uh, where's my blood stain right in the middle? Great. Like that chilled clip where the little guy does the teeth of big predator animals. I don't know that I've read that one. I know I've read the, uh... Is it Lyle Lyle Crocodile or... No, I think it was another one. Maybe it was... Either the one with, like, the crocodile and the little bird. And the little bird, like, became his tooth-crushing buddy. Hmm. It's kind of interesting that they they give you this whole cutscene again. When like the the bell gargoyles, you just they're just right there the whole time after the first time in. Doctor DeSoto and he's a mouse. That does actually sound familiar. Maybe I have read that one too. Uh, let's pick these up before we. Ah, oh, we're not gonna die again. But just in case, let's. Can I cut off your tail like the gargoyle? That'd be cool. Give me your tail. Uh, not like that. Not like that. All right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, just crawl along. Just stay right there. Give me your tail. Tail. No. <laughs> Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on you again. Fool me three times, you can't, because I'm amazing. So. Open up. It's time to brush. Hell yeah. Not that I'm going to use a great axe, but here's my non-strength build. Let's use a great axe. That's a very dexterous weapon, right? But now you can't hit me from behind anymore. Look, I know this seems awkward that me shoving a spear in your ass is the way to dentistry, but... 
You're just not familiar with today's technologies. I promise you this is how it's done. Hello, Mr. Sup. What is sup with you? Oh, wow. Um, hmm. As this, as this move. <sighs> I did pretty well that time. I got his tail. Oh, right, but he'll get his tail back. Take a look at this thing. You got further than I would ever get? No. Anyone, like, so here's, here's one thing that, I uh, look at this. Dragon, wow. 380. What's its, uh, a 50 strength requirement. Yeah, we're, we're just gonna hold on to that for trophy prize. Yeah, like, one of the things that I heard before I was streaming, um, for those who do Mario streaming, it was, uh, I was watching Grand Pooh Bear, and for those who, you know, know Mario streaming, there's another a streamer called BGR, and he does a lot of, like, you know, the troll levels in Mario Maker, and a lot of fun stuff, but, you know, he's not, a a big... Like, Kaizo Mario, really hard stuff. I mean, he, he he's better than I am. Like, don't get me wrong. He's still good. Um, but he's not, you know, like, world wrecking... World wrecking? A world record breaker on, like, Kaizo hard hacks and stuff. And... So I'm watching Grand Pooh Bear, who is a, you know, hard Mario game type of streamer. And someone said, like, oh, do you think DGR could ever beat this? And... Grand Pooh Bear thing, and one of the reasons why I think he's such a great guy and streamer and stuff, is he's like, well, of course he could beat it. Like, anyone here in chat could beat this. It's just, how much time do you want to put into it? And it's like, I mean, I get what you're saying, like, you know, you got farther than I would have ever got. Like, well, thank you for the compliment, but you could beat this guy. Maybe it would, you know, maybe you wouldn't get half of his health down on the second try. But anybody i mean like yeah okay there there's some games where like if you need <laughs> yeah and how stubborn you are that is certainly a thing too but i mean that's like part of it like unless like there it, some games things like okay like a rhythm game where you need to have fast enough reflexes like if you do not like if you physically cannot like hit a button fast enough then sure like that's a thing like You know, that, that's a thing that, like, yes, that's something that you might not be able to do just for physicality reasons. But, like, any game, including, like, get good games like this, like Dark Souls, you could do it. Now, do you want to put the time and effort into it? Maybe, maybe not, you know, because... Um... No, it's it's all about how much time you want to invest. Because, you know, some people, like, you know, just like if someone's like, here, play this. I don't know. I'm trying to think of it. Was it going to be like, like a, like a football game? Like, you know, a Madden whatever. Would I be able to do well on that my first time? No. And like, am I interested in doing well in a game like that? No. Like, if I, if I won't ever want to see that, I'll just watch someone else. Oh. You'd bore everyone to tears if you stream it? No. Oh. I don't think you would. Because, like, part of the thing is, like, and, like, the, the thing that I definitely learned is it's not... There's, like, there's two reasons to watch people stream. Or three. Um, and, wow, ow, 
like being really, really good at a game is one reason. But that's not the only reason people watch stuff. Like, if you wanted to watch someone really good at Dark Souls, you wouldn't be here watching me listening to this. You wouldn't be like, here's my first time playing the game ever person. You'd be like watching someone who's like, that you'd, you know, watch people that are like, I beat Dark Souls using a coconut controller. And like, if you're having fun and stuff, or even just like being determined, like, that's also fun to watch people do, like. And I'm talking about people's dental work and their dragon form. That's another reason to watch. So saying Ow. Oh, that was close. Alright. Uh... uh what are you doing now, man? Probably gonna get a new attack. Baby, yeah, you're not at half yet. Why are you not targeting? Come on, game. I mean, yeah, also, like, hey, Culprin's is saying, like, I could never do this guy. Like, you, yeah, you beat Nightmare Grim in Hollow Knight. You don't, he, saying that, like, I'm not good. Yes, you are. If you can beat Nightmare Grim, you can beat this guy. It's just a different type of thing. I mean, like, I saw, you know... You did it. it. took you five and a half hours. But you did it. That's the important part. It's like, maybe this guy would take, you know, five and a half hours. Maybe he'd take ten and a half hours. But you could do it. Now, whether you want to or not, that, you know, that's different. that wound, sir. And... Oh. Alright, he's getting a lot stomp. I don't know if he's getting stompier now just because he's below half health, or... No, I'm playing... I'm playing solo. I'm not, uh, having other people. Also, even if I wasn't playing so, like, this is my third time fighting him. I'm not gonna just, you know, have someone come in and beat him on my first time through Dark Souls on my third attempt. Now, if I was, uh, you know, on my 20th attempt, then I'd be like, eh, maybe. Yeah, I'm, this is my, my first time through the game. So I am... Uh. I might as well use this fire. We're gonna rest of the bonfire afterwards anyways. Ow. Okay, that's new. Ew. Ew, gross. Why did you turn into the barfing dragon, sir? That's unnecessary. I guess I'm not using my shield on this guy at all. I should be two-handing. Kind of forget that's a thing. If you're not playing for a week. Yeah, extra 50 damage. Come on, yeah, you're gonna barf, do it over there. No, 
thing here, sir. Yeah. Sit down and fix your teeth. Light down key. That sounds fun. Two humanities, homeward bone. Up, oh, wow. 25,000 souls, hello. Yeah, let's not drop down there. Oh, there's an item I missed on the second. <laughs> Chat saying, oh, Blight Town. That's always a good sign. Although, to be fair, the one person was also like, you're at the Capra Demon, uh-oh, and that took, you know, three tries, and even then it was only once for the, uh, actual try, when I was able to get into the fight without getting locked in by the wolves. Okay, where... Hmm. But presumably that's this way? Because I don't... I'm trying to think where have I seen a door anywhere? Oh, duh. Like, duh, where's the door? I don't know. Even maybe that gigantic lock door, the one I specifically went to and was like, what's this way? And then it was locked. I did it like what, 20 minutes ago or half an hour ago or something? Yeah, maybe that's the door to use the key on. So it's been about three-ish times for each. Uh, so Tauros Demon was two, I think. Capra Demon was three. Gaping Dragon was three. That's going all right. Uh, level up. Let's do another strength dex. Actually, maybe I do two of each, and. Or two vitality, two endurance, and another dexterity. Like, we don't need any more attunement slots right now. We're fine with just the two with our two little pyromancy spells. None of our weapons require strength yet. You know, that's just if we need it, like, you know, like when the wing spear, and it's like, okay, well, level that up again. Sure, let's get five levels at once. Thanks, dragon. Or just spend 25,000 souls on nothing but arrows. We're gonna plink everything to death. No, please. I'm okay watching you do well. I'm okay watching you suck, but I'm not okay watching your stream if you just shoot everything with regular arrows for the rest of the game. Well, the, oh, you're dead. You're just, your corpse was coming up to say hi. Well, I mean, a lot of corpses attack me. Why shouldn't theirs, right? 